I've got a nice little fabrication job to do here, which will give us a chance to use a Artec plasma cutter again. Basically, I need two bits of plate cutting out that size. I'm going to use 10 mil plate. Uh, the lad supplied that bit of tube, and basically all he wants is those two pieces welding on there, either side, and a pin making it go through the centre. It's some sort of turn eye. So we'll go up to the top shop and see if we can burn the pieces out. I'll have to do a computer drone first, uh, write a small program, and we'll see if we can get them burned out. Right, that's what it's actually going to cut. Cut the wool first because obviously if you give the wool the last the part that fell through. Fish the part out. And that's a very acceptable result. There's nothing the matter with that. We'll do one more and then weld them on. Right, that's the finished result, they've cut out quite nicely, uh, they simply go onto there, one each side, I welded on, and that's his, that's his job done. I've cleaned those holes up slightly with a die grinder, because you do get a very, very slight taper cut, um, using plasma. One end is perfectly 16mm, and the other end was about 15 and 3 quarters, just under, the pin wouldn't quite go through. So we'll set all this up, um, I'll set the camera up and try and get a good shot of welding it, I'm going to TIG weld it, but I don't know what material that is, I know what that is, it's just straightforward metal steel, I've got some dissimilar rods designed for welding, different types of metal together, and I'll TIG weld it with that. Right, I've managed to get it all suitably clamped together, that's simply welds into there, two nice welds, I'll set it up, get it tacked up and I'll get the camera in, and see if we can get some decent arc shots. Right, and
Right, that's it welded up. I don't think it's going to give any problems. Next thing is to make a pin for through there. It's only going to be two on cars, but I still want a pin made of good material. So I'm going to make it out of that, which is a high tensile bolt. Pin for down for through there, out of that bolt, and then a arc clip to go through. Right, first thing I'm going to do is turn the head round just to make it easier to hold. Interrupted cut should really test this cheeky bang good tooling. Carbide doesn't normally like interrupted cuts, and this is going to be interrupted. material I'll just skim it while I'm on just face the end of it Right, turn it round now, centre drill it, and then machine the threads off it. And we've basically got a, a usable pin. top material Control, we turn the feds over now. Material is good for making pins with and that, like high stress situations, as long as you don't weld it. If you weld it, you'll change the cut of the metal and then it'll be no good. But for a job like this, it'll be ideal. It shows which machine it is really good. Good quality material. Just about there. I'm going to try.
kurz. Tips of regulation is this higher speed. <coughs> what we wanted a nice fit. Nice. We don't want a tight fit, just want to fit like that, that's it. Put a little taper on this end just to break that sharp edge. Excellent, thank you for me. Right, last thing to do is drill the, the hole for the pin. I put a mark with a sharpie where I want the hole. Just find the centre on here, use an edge finder on the to do that. Use a different type of edge finder this time for the change. It's a whole made one. Basically just a piece of shaft with a bearing on the end. Let's see how it works in a second or two. Right, so you can see that's spinning around now. So we'll ease it out until the bearing stops spinning, or in rather, until the bearing stops spinning. This is there, it's basically just about there. So the zero axis on the DRO. Don't leave it that there. Important to keep it at the same height. Right, once again, so it stops spinning, which is basically there. I've half that, I've got a new 27 point eight nine. Back to zero. Right, that'll be dead in the centre. To show it works, the bearing takes no stopping. A little bit of force, and that's a cheap and cherry head finder. It certainly looks like it's in the middle, so it, it must be. So you need to machine a little flat on to get the drill to start, but the centre drill should. In fact, it has started there, no problem at all. Right, the R clip's 4mm, so we'll put a 4mm drill through here. Once again, cheap and cherry bang good tooling.
Hey, that's actually good. Right, that's it done. It will be interesting to see what would actually fail on this on a on a test rig. I do think they'll pull off here, that's, that would serve as contact and reuse a good weld. I would think it would snap that pin. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, and as usual, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in towards my wife and me, Dad. Thanks very much. And don't forget, if you like what you see, click the subscribe button. Um, the subscriptions are going up. I've got well over 50,000 now. It would be nice to, to see 100,000. You never know. With your help, hopefully I can do it. Anyway, thanks for watching.